Hey YouTube, my name is Brad. Today I'm going to show you how to edit in Camtasia 7 and get a picture-in-picture -picture effect with your videos. So I've already recorded uh, my webcam and also my screen. To do this, you can. what I have done is use Camtasia 7 to record my screen and I've used Windows Live Movie Maker to record uh, my face, the camera. So you can use any products that you like. I find that Camtasia 7 is very easy to use and it's pretty obtainable. And Windows Live Movie Maker, I'm fairly certain, is free. You can use any combination of Fraps, XSplit, uh, DX, Tori, and there's, there's others out there that you can use. But this is just an example for Fraps right now. So as you can see, I need to choose my dimensions. So for YouTube, I'll go 128720 because my upload speed's not spectacular and the higher resolution is not going to net me any gains here. So click OK on that. And what we all need to do, snap to video edges just in case, but this time I recorded my screen resolution is 1280 uh, by 720 anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. And I'm going to need to import my face, which is there. So you just click up on your recording, right click, and then go to add to and picture in picture video. And now as you can see, I'm over the screen. Now this is just an example. I recorded the screen with my webcam to show you sort of how it was going. And what most uh, Let's Players will do is they'll put it up in a corner. You can put it any corner you like and any size you like, remembering that the, the dimensions will probably stay in that pre-designed sort of setting. So don't make it too big to take up too much of your screen. So let's, let's just say we're going to put it there. And let's just see if I can't shrink this for you. There you go. That way you can see a bit more. So you can see the tracks here. There's video one, audio one. And we'll take out the zoom, which is just something that uh, is automatically sort of added in if you have smart focus preset. And that was the zoom and pan that I did, which is just right click and snap to edges, just in case yours isn't preset. Now, what you need to do here is these won't necessarily be synced up. So what I did was I recorded first my screen and second my video. And to do a good intro, what you'll want to do is just do something that is obvious that you're beginning your video. So see up in the top left here, I've put my hand up and that's the beginning of my video there. So I will cut it at this point and that is where I know that my my video from my web camera starts and here where you can just see in front there I also do it here so you can see it just coming up just there so I'll need to cut that there as well so you chop this out this audio track is redundant it's not needed so get rid of that and as it should be, we'll get rid of this. This is what I was meant to get rid of. And that was the ending of it there. So again, we'll chop it up. And you zoom in just to get rid of these little ending bits. And as you can see, the thing is I've recorded audio from both. So you can see there that the audio is showing up on both. You will have to split this up, just unlock it, and you can either just delete it or you can mute it, you can do whatever you like. I find it easier just to delete. So you're going to have one set of audio and two sets of picture. There you go. And that's pretty well synced up, and that was just a very quick sort of example of it. That's how you would do it, and if you want to do it with games and etc, you, you just got to kind of queue up your intro in a way that's easy for you to link back later on. So either do a wave, do a countdown, like a verbal countdown, say three, two, one, and then do your intro. So when you're trying to edit it in, you can listen for your three, two, one, and you can just chop it in front of that knowing that that's your intro. So that's sort of a bit of advice there because some people won't do anything and they'll just start talking and you may find it a little harder to sort of sync up. Okay guys, 
I hope this explains uh, fairly simply how to do picture in picture in Camtasia. It's, it's not a very difficult process and certainly once you get the hang of it, it can be a very easy process and, and Camtasia is quite an easy program to work with and Windows Live Movie Maker just, you know, does the job, records the webcam. Alright, if you enjoyed this, please do leave a like and if you aren't subscribed yet, please do subscribe for more of my videos and I shall see you in the future. Bye.